Hello everyone. In this video, you will be learning about cycloserine, its introduction, general properties, mechanism of action, SCR, that is structure activity relationship, and therapeutic uses. So first of all, we need to know the introduction of this drug. So cycloserine is actually a natural product and it is analog of amino acid D-alanine. It was initially isolated from streptomyces orchidaceous in 1950s. So this agent is a very broad spectrum agent. So it can be used against gram positive organisms as well as gram negative organisms. Third thing is that it can have bactericidal or bacteriostatic effects depending upon its concentration at the infection site. Now bactericidal effect is that it is going to kill that bacterium. Whereas bacteriostatic effect is that it is going to inhibit the growth of that organism. So now if we talk about the general properties of this agent, its name is for amino 3 isoxolidinone and its trade name is cyromycin. Now if we talk about chemical formula, C3H6N2O2. It has 155.5 Celsius of melting point and it is soluble in water, but it is slightly soluble in methanol. It has 102.09 gram per mole molecular weight and it is white to pale yellow in color and it is crystalline um, in powder form. So now if we talk about mechanism of action, which is very important to know because you need to know how it is going to work inside your body. So this agent cycloserine actually interferes with the bacterial cell wall synthesis. So it is going to interfere with the normal synthesis of bacterial cell wall by competitively inhibiting two enzymes. It is competitively inhibiting two enzymes which are essential for bacterial normal cell wall synthesis. So uh, what are those uh, enzymes? L-alanine racemarase and D-alanine, D-alanine uh, ligase. These enzymes are going to be inhibited by cycloserine and what will be the resultant that there is going to be impairment, impairing uh, peptidoglycan formation uh, which is necessary for uh, bacterial cell wall synthesis. So it is going to interfere with the formation of peptidoglycan formation, uh, peptidoglycan, which is actually necessary for bacterial cell wall. So over here, you can see that cycloserine is going to uh, show its inhibitory action on these two enzymes, that is L-alanine racemarase and uh, D alanine, D alanine ligase. Sorry about this, uh, these spellings. These are a bit wrong. So, what is going to happen over here that L alanine is going to be converted into D alanine by the action of this enzyme. And then D alanine is going to be converted into D alanine, D alanine by the action of this enzyme that is D-alanine, D-alanine ligase. And then this thing, D-alanine, D-alanine is going to be converted um, or um, going to form peptidoglycan. So what this drug is going to do, this drug is going to inhibit these two enzymes which are essential for these steps, okay? So now these steps are being halted by the inhibition caused by cycloserine of these enzymes. So now there is no more peptidoglycan present for the cell wall synthesis. Okay, structure activity relationship. So analog of amino acid D-alanine and it's ex it exists in cyclic form, five membrane containing O and N, that is oxygen and nitrogen at an adjacent position. Like you can see over here that they are adjacent to each other in the ring. 
okay so as we previously mentioned that it is analog of the alanine and it is present in a ring form five ring uh, structure and it has nitrogen and oxygen which are adjacent to each other now it is also called as oxolidinone and obtained naturally as the isomer it is d isomer and what uh, keto group at uh, there is keto group at third position and ns2 at fourth position of the ring and this d isomer is more active Investigations showed that replacement of carbonyl O oxygen at third position with thiocarbonyl sulfur increased antibacterial activity. If you are going to replace this oxygen over here with sulfur, what is going to happen? That there is going to be increase in antibacterial activity. So this is the SAR of cycloserine now if we talk about therapeutic uses cycloserine is a broad spectrum antibiotic that we have previously discussed that it can be used for gram positive as well as gram negative organisms so it is used as second line agent for the treatment of drug resistant and uh, tuberculosis so if there is a uh, resistance against drugs uh, which are being used for tuberculosis then you are going to give cycloserine because it is broad spectrum so all it is always given in combination with other anti tuberculosis drug why it is given in combination to avoid further drug resistance when you are going to use uh, antibiotics in combination it always means that you are intended uh, intended to uh, decrease the chances of drug resistance. Cycloserine may be effective in the treatment of acute UTIs caused by susceptible strains of gram positive and gram negative bacteria, spe especially Enterobacter and Escherichia uh, coli. So it is also being studied in the in the treatment of pain and nerve problems, low back pain and certain anxiety disorder and uh, schizophrenia. So it can be used in those treatments 